Hello everybody and welcome to another of my videos on Dungeon Crusher Soul Hunters. Um, today I am going to talk about in-game currency. Um, right now I am on Congregate, playing through Congregate, <coughs> which is okay. I mean, I much prefer playing on my phone uh, for various reasons, uh, mainly because clicking uh, with a mouse is a lot harder than uh, clicking on your phone with your fingers. Uh, but, um, I do want to show you a couple different things here for this in-game currency. Uh, I don't necessarily consider hearts an in-game currency, uh, nor do I consider souls or these coins, okay? Um, emeralds are kind of an in-game currency, so we'll go ahead and discuss those just a little bit, uh, but I'll talk more about those in another video that I'm going to record after this one, uh, on advanced gem mining. And uh, But we will be talking about bottles, and then um, we are also going to be talking about uh, some other in-game currencies that you will be familiar with. Um, bottle crates, um, medium rune chests, uh, And if you scroll all the way back down, um, we have demon horns and um, shards of the void. Okay. Uh, to a lesser extent, um, extent uh, these here guns are also um, in-game currency. All right, so let's start off with these guns. Um, they're the easiest ones to talk about. These guns that you can purchase either through the app itself or you can trade for in the game. Um, and when you're first starting out in the game, these are really good to have. Um, two, you could have two of any any type, it doesn't matter which, uh, to help you out in your normal siege activities. Um, if you have clan bosses, uh, which are these demon horns here, and you want to kill that in any given week, then um, you would need the uh, siege gun for that specific week because it gives a higher bonus. Um, other than killing these clan bosses, you can use any two of these at any given time uh, in your siege deck. So right now on my server, the current trade rate is somewhere around one gun for three or four demon horns. Um, it's not a terrible um, exchange rate. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but one of the things you can get, uh, one of the reasons I'm, I'm not a big fan of Congregate for... For this reason is that uh, well I I shouldn't say it's a congregate problem the developers of the game don't allow you to purchase certain things through uh, congregate and so you can't really see them here but if you were on your um, if you were on your phone, you'd be able to go into the shop here, and I'm not sure which tab it's under, but you'd see one for um, a uh, siege pack, and in the siege pack you get um, a certain amount of demon horns, I think it's uh, 10 or 15, and then also you get, um, if it's the first time you purchased, I'm trying to remember, um, it's been such a long time since I've done it. Um, it's got to be, so you get 15 demon horns and one of the siege guns. So maybe it's the first time you purchase the siege gun, you get the 15 or the 10, I think it's 10 demon horns, but you can only do that for one of each of the weeks, um, where you get the extra demon horns at no charge. Um. So you can you can certainly buy them that way, or you can trade for them, uh, like I was saying, in the game. And um, in, in addition, besides using the uh, demon horns, you could use bottles or voids as well. Um, 
So these are good to have. Um, I, I'm at a point where I don't really need them anymore, so I am selling them, and then I will show you uh, what I'm getting out of them. And right here, uh, this is a doubloon, which we'll talk about when we discuss the auction house. All right. So then, as we were talking about, these demon horns, um, you get these in clan rewards, which you'll see in my uh, video on clans. Um, and uh, if if your clan leader shares clan rewards with everybody in the clan, then you have a potential of getting them. Otherwise, you have to be the clan leader itself in order to obtain them through that. Um, as clan leader, um, you know the the person who's in my my clan leader, he uh, he shares those with everybody um, and gives them out both the demon horns and the uh, bottle crates which are above. So the um, the way he does it is if you have um, whatever percentage of the effort you make towards the overall clan goal, um, you get a number of demon horns or bo bottles based off of that. <clears throat> so that's what you have. Um, you can also buy these every so often. There's like a little special offer thing up here above your um, this bag, and uh, it lasts for the weekends. Um, they have two of them uh, that happen on a regular basis. One of them is for demon horns, which you can buy 15 demon horns for 10 bucks U.S. currency. Um, and then the other one is you could buy 4,600 bottles, I think. Not the bottle crates, but these bottles themselves for, um, I think it's 30 bucks. And then you, you can get multiple offers, but the amount, the dollar amount uh, increases which you, with each pack that you buy. Um, you know, it's not a bad idea to get some of the bottle packs if you need them. However, the better way to do it, in my opinion, is, and I think I've talked about this in one of my other videos, is um, to purchase these Shards of the Void at $10 a piece. And then when you get enough of them, you can get special heroes. Um, you start off with the angels, and then you move to um, a couple gods, and then you go to demons, and then more gods. Um, and you can see that actually um, over here. By clicking on that and so you start off here with these three angels and then you go to these three gods and then there's these four demons and then you have three different branches here for more gods chinese gods scandinavian gods and sea gods and when you have each set of these they give you special bonuses um Let's see, if you have all three of the angels, you increase your science points by 75%. That's good to have. Uh, if you have these three gods, you increase the number of weekly rating points by 50%. That is super key um, if you're trying to do very well in the weekly uh, events. And then these four demons, you get it, uh, again, the weekly rating points of 50% if you have all four of those. They do get kind of expensive, though. So this is, I think, three, five, and then seven. And then you go down here to, like, 10, uh, 20, and 30-ish. I don't remember the exact numbers. But then you start getting up here into the 50, 70, uh, 90, 100. And so you're talking times 10 on each of those so this is like a thousand dollars um to get that if you're using real money uh otherwise uh you can trade some of these other things for this in-game currency these shards of the void and then purchase them with the shards um so you can go either route uh if you don't have a lot of money and don't want or you're free to play then you can hopefully get some of these in-game currencies and then trade them to other players for um shards of the void and then you can use the shards of the void to um to collect these heroes here um and then when you get down into these guys uh which i don't have yet because they're 200 voids each that's a lot of money that's two thousand dollars per per guy here um if you get this set you get a bonus to your weekly siege points if you get this set you get a bonus to uh, I don't need to remember uh, the weakling rating points. So that's pretty good. That's one that I would I would like to have. 
but uh, first off, I'm going to go for this to get the siege bonus. Uh, and then this one is you get a bonus to the um, the hunt, which is far beyond what I'm at now, so I, I'm not sure that I'll be getting those anytime soon. But anyway, back to the currencies. Um, so if you're able to get, you know, demon horns or bottle crates, you can always trade those uh, for the shards. Right now on my server, it's uh, one shard. You get one shard per every 15, maybe 16 demon horns or bottles. Uh, demon horns trade to bottles at a one-to-one -one ratio. And uh, like I was saying, these guns, you can trade one of these for four um, demon horns or bottle crates. And um, there are some other in-game currencies uh, called maps. I'll show you those in just a moment. Well, we can show them right now. Let's see, where's my mail? So I keep my maps in my mail. Um, so you'll get uh, a chance to attack these traders. Um, and then during siege, uh, when you have 60,000 guilds, between 50 and 60,000 guilds, these things here, you'll start tracking these every so often. And if you do the most damage to it, then you'll get this as a reward. And I keep them in my mail because uh, in the mail, uh, when you before you collect them uh, and you just keep them there forever, um, it doesn't decrease your chance at tracking more. So the more of these treasure chests you have in your inventory, the less of a chance percentage you have of uh, tracking more traders. Um, and so if at all possible, if you're not going to be using them, you'll want to keep them here. Um, and so what happens is if you look in this here adventure chest uh, that gives you something called a map. Um, I'll go to the auction house since we'll be talking about that next anyway. And uh, we can search here for a map. And so that's what the map looks like. Uh, current exchange rates now for maps is you can sell three maps and get two uh, shards of the void. Some uh, I think that's the most fair. However, a lot of people are selling four maps for three shards right now. Um, but, you know, that's not something that I would do because when I purchase uh, these maps, I buy them in large quantities, and so I get the best deal I can, which is three maps per two voids. Uh, after you beat that map, then um, if you kill the boss that's in there, then you can get these blueprints in another chest that comes through. These blueprints, you can see, are a little bit less value. Right now they're at 1,600 doubloons, and the maps are, oh, interesting. They're also at 1,600. Uh, so that's a really good deal to get a map at 16, and then uh, that's a better deal than getting the blueprints because when you kill the map, you get, um, you get some other stuff like bottles and uh, gems and, uh, or I should say emeralds and um, a star elixir. And so you would get those free things and then be able to kill the blueprint and get more free things. When you kill the blueprint, um, you get a tusk, a raven tusk, uh, which I don't know why that's at 1700. That's a bad deal. Um, they should be less than the other ones. Uh, because you get less rewards just by starting off with the tusk. Um, but you can actually convert those into fairy pollen uh, right here. Uh, 1300 that's a much better deal. Um, so you can convert tusks into fairy pollen. Um, the tusks um, summon a boss called Kozinch, and these summon a boss called Serral. Um, they give you different crafting items. Um, uh, I know that there, well, there probably isn't because I took it out. Um, they give you different items that you can use for crafting, um, to get different maps later on. Um, but then after you kill one of those two guys, if you're strong enough and you, uh, it takes a lot to be able to kill those guys, then you get, uh, looks like there's none on the auction house. 
All right, so uh, then you get the final level of the maps, which is a peach needle, uh, peach needle seed uh, for, or peach seed, I think it's abbreviated, a peach seed if you kill um, Kazinch, and um, a Trent seed if you kill Serral. Um, they're basically the same boss at the end, um, Peach and, and Trent, but, um, you know, they're, and they give the same rewards. Uh, but, you know, you can trade those different maps for different amounts as well. Um, all right, so in here, um, you can see these gray looking ones right here. Those are ones that I currently have up for sale. I just posted them for sale before I started this video. Um, and, uh, I've sold some in the last couple of days for 2,000 doubloons, uh, so I'm trying again for 2,000 doubloons on each of those. Um, I can tell you that that's a little bit high um, if you're going to buy it. That's a great deal, but if you're looking to buy guns, that's too high. Don't pay that. Um, but if you're not in my clan or you're not somebody I like, go ahead and buy them for 2,000. Excellent deal, guys. Excellent deal. Take them. Okay, so shards of the void. Um, right now, the shard of the void price looks like at twenty three fifty three. Uh, they fluctuate depending on which week you're in. Um, they can get up to four thousand or forty two hundred doubloons per um, in rune week or in week three. So um, that's what you you have for those. Um, and then the um, the demon horns. So you can buy the demon's horns as well, um, and looks like they're going for two hundred and ten doubloons a piece right now. Um, and then also the uh, bottle crates or crate of bottles, I think is what it's called. Yeah, creative bottles. And they're going for about 140, 150 each right now. Um, and so you can purchase those. Uh, the other thing is you can actually purchase doubloons right here. Um, you can get them for one void. Uh, if you're a mathematician or just know anything simple math, uh, like addiction or multiplication, you'll know that one void at 1,000 doubloons is a bad deal compared to um where's my ocean house there it is compared to um selling a shard of the void on the auction house and getting twenty three hundred uh well a new one popped up here for twenty two hundred so um that's that's what you're looking at right um you could get twice as many doubloons through selling it through the auction house approximately they do take a cut but you'd still get about 2,000 doubloons uh, after selling this I think it's actually like 2140 something like that I sold one yesterday um, and so you get doubles of doubloons or if it's in rune week or in week three and you're getting 4,000 I mean you're getting four times the price you would actually buy them so you could buy the shards for 10 dollars and then sell them on here to get the doubloons to buy other things that you might need um, but in this auction house um, you can get all kinds of things that you might need I'm gonna go over to my lots here again I said uh, I have those guns on there uh, here's a crafting item but uh, you can sell and buy any of these items um, that you need to so um, if you have an abundance of certain items that are in demand, like these mythical um, mythical equipment items, then you can sell them on the off auction house and get doubloons, and then um, uh, and then gain up your currencies and buy other things. One thing that you have to be careful of is when you place these things on for sale there is a deposit of bottles okay so if your item doesn't sell you lose that deposit if you cancel your item you lose that deposit uh, this one here is only 25 but if you go in here 
what was it that I was selling? Uh, oh, it was it was one of these guns. You go in here and you put one of these guns up for sale. You got a hundred a uh, hundred bottle deposit. Okay. Um, so watch what you're doing. Don't just go and throw things out here for no good reason, um, because then you would lose uh, your bottles uh, that you put up for deposit if they don't sell. Okay. Uh, and bottles can be very, very expensive, um, and, and a hot com commodity if you're early in the game. Um, there are some other things in here, like these items. These are from a special boss that you can kill, and um, you get them as rewards. That's the only way you can get them, and so they're very sought after. Uh, two hundred and fifty dollar or two hundred and fifty bottle deposit on these items. They will sell fairly quickly, though, depending on which ones they are. Um, so you know, like for instance, I actually need some gildings, but there's none out there for sale. Um, so, um, I think that's about everything I wanted to say oh for these bottles um, you can you can craft bottles here um, using these different items if you have them um, they're special percentages though uh, so these are at 95 creation percentage which is pretty good but like these other ones are like 65% so you got to be careful and use um, Essence of Luck, which is another crafted item, but it's pretty easy to craft. Um, now the other thing is you can use these Shards of the Void to create Dust of the Void, and Dust of the Void is used in lots of crafts, like Liquid of the Void. Liquid of the Void is used in lots of crafts. Um, and then you can also craft other things that you'll need for uh, other crafting things. So like, um, here you go. Uh, so these are three very special ones. I don't even have all of these yet because you get um, this recipe by crafting as many of these as you can. And as you can see, I've only crafted three, um, but it takes 100 DH to do it. And then some liquid of the void. Um, so those are hard, or I mean, they're expensive crafts. And then down here, um, these are the items that you get here from various um, bosses that you can kill. But like the Ina boss, which this is the Ina boss here. So when you kill this boss, then you get items like this. Uh, like the, no, not that. These horns, which I showed you, these blue things, the, the bolts, those gildings that I want so I can craft some fire sparks, um, these brooches, uh, more nuts, more blue things, more horns. Um, and then this demon essence here um, is expensive to craft, and it goes into these three things and then some other things. Here's some totems you can see right here that it takes the dust of the void so these crafts can get very expensive but uh, you'll need to you know not just waste them um, but that's what you would need shards of the void for as well is to break them down and into these other crafting mats okay um, so you can sell through the auction house uh, the other thing you can do is you can actually sell through um mail certain items so uh let's see if i go into the mail here i can uh here's neelix he's a he's our clan leader so i could safely trade to neelix because you know i'm i'm fairly certain he's not going to screw me over with anything but you can put certain items in here so you can trade your your shards you can trade your demon horns you can trade your cannons um, you can trade your bottles. Uh, these are worthless, and you can trade these two. Um, those are not bad. I think you can trade five of those for a void or something like that. 
Um, you're not going to be able to trade these, but you can trade these. 50 of them, I think, go for a shard of the void right now. Um, no, nobody knows what the practical use is for this, but you get one if you kill a judge during siege. Um, so you would just basically, uh, you would, unless you were doing it in your clan, you would go over here to your general chat, and then you could see like here, sell a void for 15 DH. Uh, sell voids for 15 DH each, sell void by DH, 1 to 15. Uh, want to sell voids. Uh, sell bottles and DH. So this general chat is not really a general chat, it's a trade chat. Um, but a buy voids for 1600 bottles, which is 16 bottle crates. Um, DH, DH for voids, sell maps for voids. Uh, so this is where you're going to find all of your you're trading um, now don't trade to random people that you don't see out here or people that have a small level because they might be scammers um, some of these people that are out here like Elvis uh, I know Elvis Elvis is a good guy uh, I chat with him frequently uh, we've been in the same clan multiple times um, I have him on discord um, and um, he does a lot of selling out there and he helps me out with trading for things that I might need um uh but he's a great guy. Shout out to Elvis. There you go, buddy. Um and so, you know, I have no problem trading with him and some of these other people. Uh Sentimentali is a, somebody that I know. Um you know, I don't play with him, but and Rage is a well known person. So there are there are different people on here um that you can trade with. Uh this Tuvok guy, I'm pretty sure that you can trade with him. He seems like he's an upstanding kind of guy. Um, that's me. And, uh, Ninyu, uh, in the, the gold one here, while I'm at it, the gold means that they're in the, uh, the clan that owns the castle. Uh, I might make a video on the castle, but it's not really something that, uh, I can deal with right now, or I can even attempt to take over, but, um... So this is where you'll set up your trades and then you'll do them through uh, mail, like I was saying. Uh, and the easiest way to do that is like, uh, so if I was trading with this guy, I just click on his portrait here and then write. And then I could see, uh, and then I could send him, you know, whatever it is and then just attach it like that. Um, the other thing is you'll want to check out his portrait. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, for this particular one, he's in Army of Ants. That's a that's a pretty decent clan. Um, so it's not like a shady clan that I would be worried about. Uh, although he's only been in it for 13 days. But um, the other thing you're going to want to look at is down here, his best heroes. Um, you know, he's he's been doing fairly well. So he's got a, a O'Faniel at uh, Galaxy X. His max level attained is only 2628, so that's a little bit of a worry. Uh, in that particular case, I might ask him to send to me first, but if your level is less than that, well, maybe find somebody else to uh, to trade with, but um, somebody who's more um, seasoned in the game, like Nino here at 30,000, this Tuvok guy here at 30,000, those are respectable people to, to trade with. Um, anybody who is up there, Rage here at 30,000, that means they've hit pretty much the max level you can attain in this game. Um, so, um, okay. If you have any questions on trading or any of these items, go ahead and leave them in the chat below. Um, it doesn't look like I'm going to have time to get to the next uh, video right now, but I'll go ahead and get this one posted, and then I'll work on the advanced gem mining soon because uh, I know that people have uh, been requesting that. Um, so, uh, again, leave questions or comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, and you have a blessed day.